Hey guys, so welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Let's carry on where we left off. We just had a encounter. I want to call it an encounter with Tsumugi in the love suite, which is funny because I remember like 20 minutes before that, I was like, oh, Tsumugi's such a sweet girl, you know, she's really growing on me and then next minute she's sucking my finger. Anyway, let's head on out to breakfast, see what's going on with the rest of the crew as we step closer towards another murder, which is point, which is bound to happen sometime soon. We still don't know where Kokichi is. He's sort of made himself hidden and scarce. Himiko, hello. How are you this morning? Hey, Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Good morning. Uh, okay. G good morning. I'm still not used to Himiko being so energetic. <laughs> I know, right? Hmm. It seems like everyone's gathered at the dining hall today, too. But why would it be any different? Since I've been here, I've been on a pretty regular schedule. You're right. Me too. I'm even eating breakfast every morning now. Good on you, Shuichi. Remember way back when, when he just didn't? Hmm. It'd probably be good if we kept up this schedule after we get out of here. If I do that, it'll probably enrich my magical powers even further. Right. More importantly, it might be because of the schedule, but I think they've grown a bit. Uh oh. Yes. Maybe it is because of this schedule, Himiko. I'll grow them bigger and bigger this way. Then no one will be able to call me titless. Huh? Uh, Himiko. Uh, I'm a go You know? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'll get going now. That's what I get for maxing our friendship. Now she's having those kind of conversations with me. Okay. Alright. That's. Uh, I'm just an older brother, you know? Okay. <laughs> Still. Oh, I can't say I'm an older brother. I'm freaking Tsumugi's brother. <laughs> By the sounds of things. Anyway, breakfast time, come on, let's go. Goodness me. Oh, this place looks so much more pleasant in the morning, rather than at night time. Jeez. Still. <sighs> What's for breakfast this time? Is Kokichi here? Doubt it. I wonder when he's going to make his appearance. Alright, well, the usual suspects. Kokichi's not here. Well, if he was, it'd be complete chaos. Hmm, I wonder. That punk. What are you thinking of? Huh? Huh? Well... You're worried about Kokichi, right? We're all worried too. Yes. I searched everywhere for him, but I couldn't find him at all. <laughs> sure enough, he's a master of hide and seek. It can't be! He couldn't have escaped by himself, right? Maybe he's just doing the despair tunnel over and over and over again by himself. Well... No, as long as Monokuma's here, I do not think that is possible. Jeez. Like I said, just forget about him! Anyway... Listen up. Everyone, I gotta tell you guys something. Are you finally gonna tell us how dire your situation is, Kaito? Because that would be really appreciated. Kaito has an idea. It's a little awkward with Kaito right now, but I should listen. I mean, why wouldn't we listen, you know? After we slap some more chairs, because we gotta just clear the room for the luminary of the stars to make his big announcement. An official announcement. From the Luminary of the Stars, Kaito Momota. Kokichi too? But what is Kaito planning? Let's listen to him and find out. Good idea. Hi, Smoogie. Uh... I wonder where Kokichi went. If he's off by himself, who knows what he's up to. Hmm. Maybe he's just in the love suite by himself. Maki? Hey. Make sure you talk to Kaito. Yes, Mom. I will. Eventually. When he's a bit more open to um. forgiving me. Though I do not know what crazy thing Kaito will say, we should hear him out. Alright. Let us up with the plan. Um. What's your idea, Kaito? So. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm startled. Lacking subtlety. Kaito averted his eyes from me and looked around. <laughs> I could just imagine how that looked. You know... Looks like Monokuma isn't here. Well, I wouldn't care even if he was. Kaido turned to us, his expression suddenly serious. Listen up. Didn't I tell you guys yesterday? I'm gonna get you guys out of here. But to do that, I need your guys' help. Please. So please, help me out of here. Or help me out here, sorry. Huh? What? I mean... In order to help you guys, I need you all to work with me. Wait. Hold on. 
What are you talking about? Um... Work with you? What do you mean? Got it. Fight Monokuma with me. We're gonna have another strategy meeting, are we? I don't know if we can beat Monokuma. I don't know what the nature of this world is. If it's the virtual world, just like in uh, Danganronpa 2, he could have infinite powers. Remember when Akane tried to take him down and she just barely grazed the guy? Or bear. <laughs> in this case, you know, is this really gonna work? You really think we can just usurp Monokuma's authority and just walk out of here? Huh? Fight Monokuma? Listen up. Now's our best chance. Uh, I'd say our best chance when there was actually 16 of us. Since the Monocubs are gone, the Exosols that were protecting him can't move. Ah, uh, that, good point. Good point. Let's do it! Now's our chance to get together and kick Monokuma's ass! Fight Monokuma? I see. That must be why Kaito was looking for weapons. But... Monokuma's probably got more spears. Won't it be pointless, no matter how many we beat? Yeah. <sighs> Then all we need to do is destroy them one by one till there aren't any left. But... We don't know what Monokuma's got up his sleeve. Even without the Exosols, this academy is still under his control. Hey! Then, you're fine with the way things are now? Do you guys really want to continue this killing game? Are you okay with that? No, I'm not, but I'm just saying... This is risky. I'd rather escape than fight. But then again, it's Monokuma. He has got complete control over this Dominion, and there's no way he'll let us escape so easily. Then again, he has given us the opportunity to escape with the Despair Tunnel, right? But then again, that could all be fake. I don't know what's on the other side. But then if he's that serious about guarding and protecting the place, do you think he's not got anything like up his sleeve in terms of defending himself? And preventing some sort of rebellion like this? Listen up! The only way to change things now is to fight! If you want to put an end to this killing game, then we gotta fight! Hey guys! If we don't stand up now, then when? But... We don't have anyone who can fight. Like Gonta or Tenko. Then... I'll just have to fight on their behalf. Maki gonna fight for three people? What? Well... I know an assassin wouldn't say this, but I'm sick of all this killing. Maki! Everyone! Let's do it. What? Kibo, you too? I heard it. My inner voice that guides me when I feel lost spoke to me again. I'm concerned about this inner voice. You've been bringing it up quite a bit now, and I don't know if I trust this inner voice of yours, because you are a robot. I feel like someone's just gonna hack you and just... You're actually working with Monokuma here. You are a robot. Uh, yeah, that sounds like profiling. It's definitely robophobia. <laughs> it said, now is the time to stand and fight. It may be a dangerous course of action. But if it will prevent future victims, I... Then I've decided that I will fight Monokuma. But you're as frail as an old lady, dude. What are you gonna do? You don't even have any rockets. Okay, maybe you, you got your blinding light, I guess. Maybe that'll CC Monokuma and it'll take... Let the rest of us attack him. Himiko, you got magic? You. I've been waiting for those words. Very well. I'll lend you my power. What? Were you really waiting for that? I... I don't want to lose any more friends. It's even more painful than losing yourself. Well, I mean, if you lose yourself, it's not painful anymore, because you're dead, right? Great, huh? That's why I'll fight. I'm not afraid of Monokuma. Oh, Tsumugi's a bit nervous. I don't blame yeah. you. Okay then, me too. We can't let the killing game go on like this. Hey. You're going to join as well, right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Right. All right! So we all agree. Then it's decided. Let's do it! We're gonna beat Monokuma to a pulp! Yeah. Yes, let's show him what we're made of. Mm. I won't even need to use my magic. But I then, mean, you know, once we beat up Monokuma, then what? You think he's just gonna give us the keys to the place? He's obviously being controlled by someone. It's not like it's a literal bear, like, holding us hostage. Once we destroy Monokuma, then what? We're just here. You know? No. I think that if you can use magic, now's the time for it. Well... And when did you guys want to start? I'm fine with starting right away. Ah. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, because this'll be the final battle. We should make sure we're prepared. What? Prepared for what? I mean... Prepared for battle, of course. Well, I'll take care of that for you guys. <laughs> so you can make preparations, but you can't clean up after yourself? <laughs> huh. 
Well, since I was the one who brought this up, I gotta get things prepared at least. So you guys just gotta prepare yourselves mentally. All right. The battle's gonna be tonight. Once it's nighttime, let's meet up at the gym. Right, of course, because even though that's rule breaking, there's no exosols to execute us or no one to pilot them anyway. Okie dokie. After that, we ate breakfast and prepared for our final battle. We separated for now and returned to our rooms. I've got a bad feeling about this. Obviously. <laughs> this is not going to end well. But it feels too soon for, for something to happen like this, you know? I feel like we deserve at least two more free times a fight with Monokuma. It's true that this is our chance, but what is the sense of unease? It's because Monokuma is probably two steps ahead of us. Of course, you don't, you don't think he wasn't listening to that conversation? He's probably just like, <laughs> they're going to the gym tonight, I can't wait. You know? And Kokichi too. I can't imagine he'd just ignore this. He must be planning something. We have to be cautious. <sighs> I don't know what Kokichi's up to. But it's nothing good for us, I feel. Then again, who knows what that guy's ulterior motives are. Let's get a move on. I haven't thought this far ahead. I've maxed out Himiko. I've maxed out Maki. You know, who am I going to spend my last bit of free time with? Because I don't think we're going to get any in Chapter 6. That's for sure. Um, I mean, technically I've got one shard for Kaito. Should I work on that? Then again, I don't even know if he wants to talk to me right now. Kokichi is nowhere to be found, so we can rule that out, unfortunately. Himiko's maxed out. Maki's maxed out. Tsumugi, maybe? I feel like hardly anyone probably spends time with her. So, why don't we just spend our last bit of free time with her? I mean, we've got Kibo as well, but... Let's, let's spin it with Tsumugi. Get to know her before the end. Could be her end, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna die next. Where is she? She's probably in her own lab, right? Yeah, of course she is. Well, let's get a move on. Whoa, that was super fast. Keep forgetting. Running outside is really boss, and running inside is like a light jog. <laughs> you know? I've been thinking more about possible theories and whatnot, so we're, well, I don't want to say we're guaranteed to be in space right now, but it's looking very likely. Like, everything's pointing to the fact that the Gopher Project happened. Or did it, you know? We've got that funeral scene that happened. I had this weird theory that maybe, you know, we were in the rocket ship and it blew up. <laughs> like, or we, we just completely failed. They lost contact with our, our spaceship or whatever. And that's why there's a funeral for us. But then, that funeral scene which I rewatched, I feel guilty for rewatching because I remember the last time I like rewatched earlier episodes and whatnot, that's how I figured out that Junko's body was used in Chapter 5 of Danganronpa 1. And, you know, I feel, you know, if I rewatch things, I might pick up on stuff I probably, you know, kind of don't want to. I want to try and at least remember it from memory, if you get what I mean. I don't know. Uh, so, oh, the music's back. It's, it comes and goes, you know? Strange. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Kaito. Maybe I should at least just check on him. See what he says. It's no use. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. Sorry. Maki, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we can't even spend free time with him. Okay, there you go. Uh, anyway, but then on the funeral scene they said it must have been because we died probably because of that ultimate hunt. Whatever that is. We still don't know what that is. It's a cult. It's not Angie's cult, it's a different cult. Like I already said that maybe they, they got jealous of us being saved. And then they wanted to kill us as revenge, but I don't know, that doesn't seem right, does it? Oh, there's a hidden monokuma. Um, so, that funeral scene. And I keep forgetting the, the fact that we keep having flashbacks to the fact that we've got these helmets on. Uh, and it looks like a cybery background behind us when when that we flash back to that. Hmm. Not to mention, we still have to find that flashback light, this last flashback light. Maki's the only one of us left who can fight. I wonder if it's really going to be okay. Should I hang out with Samui for a while? So long as she doesn't ingest sorry. my fingers. So sorry for being so negative. This is a chance like we've never had before. It's going. I'm going to do my best to be useful. Good on you, Samugi. I spent some time with Samugi. Samugi and I grew a little closer today. Um, I must have something for you, surely. I've gathered so many different presents. What's something the ultimate cosplayer would like? 
I gathered, I mean, I got the prop carrying case, that's a given, right? It's a case in high demand by cosplayers, so I'll take it. What? I can have this? Oh, really? Oh, despair eyes, <laughs> swirly eyes. I mean, no one else here can appreciate this like I can. Of course. Uh... You're weird, Suichi. Oh, that's nice. You were thanking me and all of a sudden you're calling me weird. I... Uh, you're calling me weird, okay? Not after last night. You have no right. Huh? Weird. How so? Uh... You wanted to hang out with plain old me when everyone else is so flashy. Yeah, I know, but... Maybe that's what makes you different, right? Everyone else is so flashy and you're so plain, you kind of you kind of stick out. You know, if everyone's unique, then is no one special? Well, if everyone's flashy and you're the only one who's not, it kind of makes you different from the rest, you know? Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, hmm. let's carry on. Tsubugi, you keep calling yourself plain, but I really don't think you are. No! I'm plain. I know it, so you don't have to be... You don't have to worry about being polite. You're an ultimate, you know? That, there's nothing plain about that. I'm not just trying to be polite. Actually... Most people are surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, whoa, where'd this girl with glasses come from? And you've got Cospox, of all things. Which hasn't been relevant since that initial case. I'm wondering if they're ever going to come up again, or if it's just a one-off thing. Like, uh, Shuichi's first case where he, um, accused that guy. I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain characters. Hmm. Yes. That's... Well, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. Unfortunately, it's a movie, it's called a stereotype. It's how we can sort of broadly dis, um, you know, differentiate between different people. But... There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses, though. Like in sports anime. You can't! But the characters with glasses are never allowed to take them off. Not even once. It's like they say, glasses are just like underwear. I have definitely never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, neither. Typically when their glasses fall off, they, for some reason, they suddenly become blind as a bat, which we know is not really true unless you've got really horrid eyesight, but then again. Uh... Wait, why were we talking about glasses again? Uh, you started it. Um... Oh, right. We were talking about how I'm so plain. Uh, okay. Yes. Um... I'll tell you just how plain I am. When I go into a crowded store, Nobody knows this is there. When I want to check out, I need to try really hard to get the clerk's attention. Really? You just stand there, you know? He's got no choice but to respond. That's... That's not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. It happened to me. Seems like... When I go to the theme park with friends, I'm so plain they lose sight of me. Uh, um... That's not your fault either. Theme parks can get pretty hectic. We're trying to one-up her plainness. It's plain to see. And I always have a sewing kit and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Hmm. You consider that plain? I think it's a good thing to be prepared. Hmm. Huh? Why is she making that face? It looks like she's bothered by something. Stop! I'm just letting you know, but my list of plainness doesn't end there. Once you hear the rest, you'll think, oh man, she's so plain. Why is she being so insistent with this? Right? First off, when the teacher take when the teacher's taking attendance in class, they'll skip me. Really? So I have to make sure I get counted or I'll be marked absent. Doesn't that suck? I mean, aren't you so plain that they'll forget to mark you absent as well? They'll forget that you were never there in their class? It's plain to see. Then, whenever people are splitting into teams, I get picked last because I'm plain. Then, when I go into town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't notice me because I'm plain. Then I go into a store, and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Because I'm plain is quickly becoming your catchphrase, Smoogie. That reminds me. And it's not just the handkerchiefs. My underwear is white, too. Because I'm plain. Because it's a game. Underwear. Actually. <laughs> Even if I get on the train without a ticket, no nobody notices because I'm plain. <laughs> also, I get into movie theaters without a ticket because I'm plain. Wait. B but that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I bet I could do it, though. I'm so plain I don't have much of a presence. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave any undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez! That was a joke too. I didn't think you'd fall for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Shuichi, come on then. Or did you just pretend to? Are you more of a jokester than I thought? No, it's not quite that. There could be a real spy among the ultimate here after all. That's right, a potential traitor. You could be one since you're so plain, because you're plain! Shuichi! Be careful of cults and con artists. I'm worried you'll get taken in. 
Well, I avoided uh, Angie's cult and I haven't been absorbed by Kokichi just yet, so I think I'm doing okay. But Tsumugi looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's alright. Still, it's not right to put yourself down like that, Tsumugi, unless you're proud of the fact that you're playing, in which case, go right ahead. Tsumugi's report card's been updated. Nice. Tsumugi and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. I mean, you know, putting yourself down... Like, you have to think about it like this. You're your own best friend. You should always be happy with yourself and be proud of who you are, right? There's still some time. That's true. What should I do? Go find Tsumugi again. Um, another whack TED talk for you. Because, uh, you know, you wouldn't put your friends down with toxicity and malice, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be friends. So, if you wouldn't say that to your friends, why would you say it to yourself, you know? You shouldn't allow yourself to, to put yourself down like that. I don't think. Anyway, but like I said, Tsumugi seems to be happy with the fact that she's playing, and that's okay. That means she's embraced who she is, if she's considering herself playing, that is. But you're an ultimate, you know? Can you really be playing? I mean, I'd say the ultimate lucky student, Makoto, is probably a bit more plain than you are, Tsumugi. But definitely not Nagito. He's anything but plain. Uh, I'm just going upstairs, assuming she's up there. I should probably look where she is. Um, where do we go? Where is everyone? Huh? Everyone? Ah, Tsumugi's in the dining hall. There you go. Shouldn't have gone upstairs. Back down we go. Hmm. Hmm. We're approaching nighttime. We're approaching a critical moment where everything just falls to pieces like a house of cards collapsing. I don't know what to give you because I only bought one prop carrying gate. I didn't expect to give you two of them. I suppose I'll find something else. Hey, Monokuma probably knows about our plan, right? You're goddamn right he does. <laughs> So why isn't he trying to stop us? Maybe he's giving us some space? Yeah, it's so nice. Or isn't he? <sighs> when I think about that, it makes me anxious. Well, why don't we have a mixed juice drink here or to take our minds off of it? Let's let's do it. Mixed juice. I tried one of Tsumugi's signature cocktails at her lab. Oh, okay. We went all the way to her lab. You know this Ultimate Academy needs? An elevator. Tsumugi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Tsumugi a present? Like, there's no disability access at all. Almost didn't give you a present. Sorry, Tsumugi. Uh, okay. Uh, a beret, maybe? A ladybug brooch? Cufflinks? There must be something I've got. Something else for a cosplayer. Tattered music score. Flower for Flormancy. Sparkly sheet, clean robots, home planet. Oh, come on, there must be. Dangan werewolf. <laughs> these, all these extra items I got. Oh my gosh, the tentacle machine. Let's not bring that up again. Uh, maybe I just give her the beret. It's kind of stylish, right? Teddy bear. Japanese doll wig. Nope. Sewing kit. Maybe she'll like a sewing kit, because, you know, she's a cosplayer, she's got to make costumes somehow. I got five of these. Take one. What is this? You'd give this to me? Oh good, she loves it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. Hey! Shuichi, what do you do when it's nighttime? Do you sleep right away? Well... Well, uh, I don't really have anything to do, so I tend to go to bed right away. I see. I did that at first too, but now I usually stay up late. Ten o'clock just seems too early to go to sleep. Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> I'm always sleeping late. It's terrible. I know. I'm sorry. You always should get more sleep. But when you're a student, well, I'm not a student anymore, but back in my student days, used to, I couldn't sleep before 1 a.m. So I've been making paper patterns for my next cosplay until I get sleepy. If I remember correctly. Well, I'm glad I gave you that sewing kit then. That reminds me. You said you were... You like making the outfits more than wearing them, right? Yeah! It's fine if other people wear them. I said it before, but... Some people have started to promote themselves more than their characters. Hmm. That's why you cosplay with love. Uh... Of course, there are still cosplayers who think their characters are important. But the worst ones just use these characters as stepping stones. Huh? <laughs> stepping stones? I can't believe it! People can get famous doing cosplay, so from there... 
Some people try to use that fame to become celebrities or idols. Right. Get a presence, get a following, and then use that to advance in their careers, right? Because, you know, I can't imagine cosplay is a long-time gig that you can, you know, profit of, right? It definitely seems like an entryway to, to an entertainment gig, like acting or, or singing or something, because once you get noticed, that's uh, the hard part done, right? That's... I suppose that's true. It is a stepping stone for them. Right? Yeah, right. It's fine if they disrespect me, but I won't let them disrespect the characters. <sighs> but when I get mad like that, they just call me an elitist and stop listening. Hmm. I mean, you just gotta let them do their own thing, Samuki, and focus on yourself. Maybe. Samuki sighed, rubbing her temples. This must be serious. Um... When people first start cosplaying, they just want to dress up as the characters because they like them. That's... yeah, I, I can imagine. But before long, it warps. It gets more warped the longer you do it. Hmm. Warped? But the feeling doesn't change, does it? Uh... Well, for cosplay, you have more contact with others than most hobbies. In the beginning, it's just fun to wear the outfits, but... Then you start comparing, pushing your opinions, and starting drama. Uh... And before you know it, the feeling of wanting to dress up as the character, it's replaced by a need to put in the effort to meet other people's standards. Makeup, wig color, contacts, whatever you need to make it perfect. But... Perfection isn't such a bad goal though, is it? I don't know, it can get pretty, you know, negative real fast if all you strive for is perfection. Because, let's be honest, it's near impossible to obtain. But... The problem is, they start to make fun of anyone who doesn't get it perfect. Yeah, that's a no-no. That's how we learn. Not getting it perfect. That's how we, you know, develop. Of course, I believe you should work hard to make quality cosplay, but it's even more important to feel like you can become your favorite character. I mean, if we all strive for greatness and perfection, no one would ever try anything new, because we'd never get it right the first time. I never would have started making YouTube videos, never would have started writing, I've recently started drawing and practicing that, I never, you know, I mean, looking at my early drawings, they're really horrible, I feel like I've come a long way, but still, a lot to learn, <laughs> a lot to learn. That's why I don't want to call anyone just starting out bad or a newbie. Right? Never. I always encourage people to try stuff new. Try things new. Try something new. Like speaking English. You can't! <laughs> Properly. Ah, jeez. I don't have the right words for it. I can't say it well. No. Well, I can't speak either. No, I, I think I understand. Tsumugi never wants to forget the fun of cosplay. Those feelings must be what makes her the ultimate cosplayer. Sorry. That wasn't just boring. It got pretty heavy too, huh? I'm always willing to listen. Don't think that's all cosplay is, okay? Lots of things about it are just plain fun. Hey! Next time, I'll talk about those things. If you want to, of course. Of course. Unfortunately, I think we're out of time. Tsumugi's report card has been updated. I'll have to carry this on another life, unfortunately. Tsumugi and I parted ways, and I returned to my room. Alright, nighttime approaches. The music's gone. All our training was for this moment. He's about to announce it. Or not. Jeez, oh, how cheeky. It's like an invitation. He's like, I know what you guys are up to. I'll be there. I'll deliver the announcement live if you want me to. Monokuma isn't here. What was that? No. Is the plan compromised? I should get to the gym. I'm sure everyone is already gathered there. Really? Why are we always so lazy then? Shuichi, come on! We shouldn't even be returning to our room. We should be going to the gym. Oh, I can't slap the light off, I guess, because it's on. <laughs> Let's get moving. Alright. This is it. I'm pumped up! I'm ready! I'm hyped! Oh my gosh. Just breathe, breathe, whack, breathe, breathe. Someone's here. So someone else is also slacking off. Tsumugi, you also return to your room, that's right. Let's go together. Shuichi! Are you headed to the gym? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey! I remember hearing Mew getting all worked up about it, but in Kibo's research lab, there are a lot of parts to upgrade him, right? You want, you're saying we should just make him into a killer robot? Is that a great idea? If he'd use those, we wouldn't have to depend so much on Maki in fights. Well. That's true, but Kibo said that he doesn't want anything too sci-fi, so... Um... But in this situation, maybe he should just get over that already. Let's... 
his body. You know, it's up to him, I guess, in the end. Well, we shouldn't force him to do anything. One man's mo is another man's trash. What? Hmm? Wait, is that how it goes? Well, whatever. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay, fine, go without me. I'll just stumble after you then. <laughs> okay. I'm worried for Maki, though. I don't want her to take care of everything. I mean, Kaito could probably fight as well, but the guy's sick. He couldn't even take on Kokichi. Let's just walk slowly. <laughs> no one else is here. Gulp. Imagine just being in this setting, you know? Like, imagine just being here. I don't know what I would do. I would be so lost. Okay. Alright, maybe let's, let's move slightly faster. Okay, let's go. Nothing on Kokichi's lab, though. Interesting. Does that mean he's going to survive Chapter 5? And his, and his lab will appear in next chapter? I don't know. Alright, we're here. The gym. There's a lot of weapons. This is where Ryoma was found dead, right? Alright! Alright, everyone's here! Hope you're all ready. Uh, uh, are those weapons? We've got like a battle axe. Is that a chainsaw? Jeez, is that from Himiko's lab or something? Oh, yeah. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma? Got it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, guys! Anyway, let's get started. You guys better be ready. Uh, you don't mean ready to die, right? Idiot. What? No! I mean ready to fight and win, obviously. <sighs> ready to fight and win? Yeah. We challenged them a bunch of times, but it never worked out, right? That's because we gave up. Listen up. But this time, we can't give up, because this is our final chance. We're going to beat up Monokuma and end this ridiculous killing game. <laughs> what a quinky dig! I was planning on ending this killing game too. He's here. Upon hearing that voice, we all spun on a dime and saw him standing before us. Kokichi! Uh, where did you come from? I'm surprised you haven't got that wicked evil face you had like at the end of chapter 5 plastered all over your face. You know, I was also thinking about how to end this killing game as soon as possible. <laughs> I, I can't deny it. Every time he appears, I just get so excited. It's like when Nagito appeared. I was just... He's got a you grenade. Little... What are you? I wouldn't move if I were you. At least, if you don't want to become this little guy's prey. Another bomb threat. Great. It wouldn't be chapter 5 without an explosion, like I said. Like, we already had that mini explosion when we uncovered Rantaro's um, research lab, but... Someone has to get blown away. Like, uh, Toko did, and Kokichi did. Sorry, not Kokichi. <laughs> like... <laughs> Kazuichi. Sorry. Everyone's names are starting with K around here. <laughs> that? Like, we had Kaede, Kaito, Kokichi... Some Is that a Kurumi... Bomb? It's a grenade. Uh, b -b -bomb? Yep, it's exactly that. Which means... If you don't want to be blown to pieces, then you need to listen to what I'm about to tell you. What is your plan? Oh, well, he's just wheeled his cart in as well. The dolly. You're not robo-justice, are you? So? Wait, what was I going to tell you? Don't lie! You're the one who said it! You little... You? What are you going to do with that bomb? Ah. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you my purpose. See? You know how it says in the rules that the killing game will continue until there are only two left? Yes. But... But it never mentioned anything about how many you can kill, right? That's what I said. There's always been a limit up until now. Huh? What? Well, you know. So, here's a question for everyone. <laughs> Who wants to survive with me? Just the two of us. It can't be. You. What did you say? Are you planning to kill us all with that bomb? Are you serious? Then the way you were going to end this killing game is... I thought maybe I should kill everyone. Except for me and, like, one other person. <sighs> uh, I had a feeling this was someone's plan. Of course it had to be yours. Kill everyone? If I did that, I'd be able to end the killing game and still abide by school rules, right? I mean, even if you broke school rules, you know, 
It's not like you're gonna get punished. We're already here in the gym past night time. Then again, Monokuma never announced it. Well then, who wants to live? I do, I do. But still, I want everyone else to survive as well. Thank you very much. It's first come, first serve. On the count of three, first one to raise their hand wins. Is anyone gonna raise their hand? Just like with Don't the screw around. <laughs> killing um, the the perk, first blood perk, right? Qu quit screwing around. Who'd ever agree to that plan? I. Even if you threaten to destroy me, I have no intention of being manipulated by you. Why you? I'm scared of dying, but nothing good will come from surviving with you. What was that? I also don't want to survive with someone who'd do such a thing to Gonta. Oh, she's still hung up about that. I don't blame her. You bastard. I'd rather kill you. Is that all right? Kokichi, you just don't get it. We're not going to do what you want. Oh. Wow, what a surprise. I didn't think this would go exactly as I predicted. Huh? What? <laughs> I lied about killing everyone. I just wanted to test your determination. <sighs> really now? Really? Huh? Determination? Yeah. I wanted to see if you guys were determined enough to end this killing game. So, let's work together! We can use the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons. Ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? The UAM dubs? Hammer on dolly. Could it be the ultimate anti-monokuma weapons? Are you talking about the hammers? Cut it out. There's no reason to listen to them, guys. Uh... Come on, at least hear me out. This is also Muse Memento. Yeah? Muse Memento? What are you talking about? Yeah. They're called Electro Hammers, and they're something I asked Mew to invent. Really now? I mean, How they are exciting. pink. They're a pretty incredible invention that disables any electronic machine on contact. Kibo, I feel like you better run. Huh? Disables electronic machines? <laughs> I bet that includes Kibo too. <laughs> they should help. They should be helpful against Monokuma, right? What? Huh? Helpful against Monokuma. Hold up! Hey, how did you know we were gonna fight Mono- ah. Oh, well, I just happened to be hiding in the dining hall when I heard you discussing it. You were under the table? Ah. The fact that you were hiding there means it wasn't a coincidence. But... I was just so elated when I heard you guys wanted to fight Monokuma. Because that was my plan all along. That's how I want to end this killing game. And that's why I asked Mew to make this. To defeat Monokuma and the Monocups. Stop it. Don't lie. You've been fixated on this killing game the whole time. Always messing around. Is that really something Mew made? Aren't you lying about that too? I'm disappointed. Huh? You're gonna doubt that too? <sighs> of course. Have you forgotten everything you've done to us up until now? Yeah. Yep, I forgot. <sighs> How do you expect us to believe that? Well, let me remind you. You said, ha 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 ha. I lied. Do you really think I would care about Gonta? You guys are all losers or something like that. Okay, you didn't call us losers, but still. And then you beat up Kaido. But then again, he struck first, so it was more self-defense. I don't know, but just your attitude. Okay, Kokichi? Because... This doesn't make sense. If Mew made that weapon, why didn't she... Why didn't she use that instead of murdering someone? Exactly. Right? Why'd she have to go and try and kill you? Hmm. Yeah, if there were weapons to fight against Monokuma, we should have all fought together. Yeah. This is all your fault. What? Huh? Our fault. Oh, man. I told Mew too, you know. Around the time I asked her to invent this, I told her that we should fight against Monokuma. But she... She what? Yeah. What a pain in my ass. Why do I gotta make this again? Well, you know... Quit complaining. This is all an unfuckable, ugly bitch like you is all good for anyway. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. But... But this is so exciting! When this is done, we can probably defeat Monokuma, right? Especially when we all join forces. Yeah. Don't be stupid. If you're gonna do it, do it yourself. Hmm? Um... It doesn't matter if we promise to work together. Someone will still betray us. Betray us and... Kill one of us. It just happened to be you, Mew. Is this all true? I have to doubt it. I have to doubt everything. Besides, this weapon won't make a difference. We'll be killed by an exosol before we can use it. I just invented it because I was asked to. I have no intention of defying Monokuma. There's no way we could beat him. And I can't afford to die here anyway. Listen 
not. Not when I still need to invent something that's going to change the world. What if you did? What if you invented a, a rocket or something that we could use for the Gopher Project? Something that could sustain our lives until we found a new place to inhabit. Right? So, so if you want to defy Monokuma, do it yourself. Come with me! But if it does work out, come help me, okay? I'll do anything, anything, to thank you. Someone will still betray us. That's what she said. Well, the Exosols were still moving at the time, so I don't blame her, but... She was afraid to trust you guys. The fear of betrayal overcame her. That's why she bloodied her hands in this killing game. Damn. That idiot. Well, you know. But you guys are different. You guys wouldn't lose to the fear of your friends betraying you, right? Is that why you tested us? You showed your determination to fight together, and you ignored my advice from earlier. N no. And you would lie about killing all of us just to test that theory? Yeah. That's why I want you guys to do your best. Don't screw around! Quit screwing around! What are you saying? You probably just lied about talking to Mew. Ah. Oh, by the way, the Electro Hammers weren't the only thing Mew made. <laughs> she made this thing, too. What? That bomb, too? <laughs> It's not exactly a bomb, though, even if it's called an electro-bomb. <laughs> it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with, uh, electromagnetic waves. Um... For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, so it doesn't leave any debris behind. Great! A perfect weapon to kill you, Kibo. Fantastic! This invention is extraordinary! But I only have three of them. And again, if Kokichi wanted to kill, all he'd have to do is toss this at Kibo while he's eating breakfast. Oh, he doesn't eat breakfast. I don't know. While he's in the car wash. I mean, the robot wash. Whatever it is. My bad. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the Electro Hammers. Please, wait! Settle? We have no intention of using such suspicious-looking hammers. But... Are you sure? You can use these Electro Hammers not only against Monokuma, but also to get through that underground tunnel. The Despair Tunnel. Huh? The underground tunnel. See? You can use the electro hammers to destroy the electronic traps in that place. <laughs> Is that true? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you finally starting to believe me? Yeah, because it's too good to be true, though. That's the thing. But... But be careful. Electro hammers run out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against Nexusol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? The Exosols can't be piloted unless Monokuma can pilot one, but even then, that's only one Exosol. Once the battery depletes, it takes 24 hours to fully charge, so watch out for that. Is it one of those things that we can't use it unless it's fully charged? That's annoying. Um. I suppose that's it. Anyway, I'm done explaining, so I'll hand the Electro Hammers over. Well, you know. I'll let you guys talk it over. I won't interfere anymore either. Huh? Won't interfere, so you're not going to help us? You're just going to hold on to the bombs? See? I'll be looking from a distance, or something like that. You don't want me around anyway. No. Wait, before you run off again, there's something I need to ask you. What was that writing in the courtyard? Hmm. If I remember correctly... That message that Gonta found. This world is mine, I believe it said. Did you write that? And if you did, why? There's just something about it, though, I guess. It's kind of strange. Right? I guess it's maybe it's just the way it's written. Like, look at the way the M and the I and the N and the E. It's just... I don't know. Now that everyone else mentioned it, it just looks... a bit bizarre. It's a lot of dots. <laughs> Try to think about this. I mean, the chi part of Kokichi's name, the C and the H, kind of looks like a, you know what, a hoo-hoo. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> hmm? What's that? I have no idea. Don't lie! Don't play dumb. Your name is on it. You gotta be the one who did it. But... But I wouldn't gain anything from writing a message like that, would I? That would just make you guys suspect I'm the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind. Because? Yeah. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma, would make me seem like the mastermind. Ah. Oh, I know! 
This is all Monokuma's doing. He's trying to get us to suspect each other. But don't worry. I truly want to end this killing. Suddenly, a dark shadow slid between us, quick as a flash. Uh-oh. Ah! Good she's here to kill him. Tell us the truth. What are you scheming? Like I said, I just want to end this killing game. That's all. <laughs> I don't know what... If I to trust him or not, like past history tells me no, don't trust Kokichi. Okay, I fell for it again at the end of the last trial, or did I? I don't know, but I have to doubt him. It's the only way I can survive. If we can survive. If you don't tell us the truth, then I'll break you. <laughs> oh dear. Maki Roll, cut it out! You'll get killed if you don't! I told you, we can't play this killing game! That's just what Monokuma wants! Listen to him. Maki, let him go, please. For all we know, he might be trying to help us. But then again, he might not. Still, if he's not, we've just aggravated him further. And if he is, we might have changed his mind. Maki let go, and Kokichi's body fell in a heap on the floor. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a meanie. How could you do something like this to a friend? What? Friend? As if. You guys may not think that way, but I... I see all of you as my friends. That's why... I'll be back. I won't interfere anymore. So please, continue to walk the path you believe in. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. I'm starting to think. You know, this is all suspicious. He, does he really, really, truly care for us? Because in a way, like I said, he's united us all. Against him, <laughs> of all things. So, and what if... No, I don't know. I was just going to say, what if... Kohichi actually had nothing to do with Gonta going ahead and killing Mew. And to save us from falling to despair that Gonta actually killed uh, Mew, that he took on the blame, that he said, I arranged this all. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Kokichi picked himself up and staggered to the exit. I think I read it already. He left behind the electro hammers, but he must have taken the electro bombs. Hmm. What should we do? No. You mean about the hammers? They've got to be booby trapped somehow. Hmm. But looking at it, it definitely seems like something Mew made. Hey. Either way, I refuse to believe anything he says. Nah. But you know, if it's not a lie, then isn't this our one chance to escape? Huh? What? Listen up. If we use these electro hammers, maybe we can get through the underground passage. The blood. It's peering. So why don't we try it? What is it? You mean actually do what Kokichi is suggesting? What? No matter what we do, it'll be dangerous. But are you really going to believe Kokichi? But you know... Our goal is to escape with everyone, right? If there's a chance we can do it, then we should take it. We don't have enough time. You mean you don't have enough time, Kaito? Huh? Time? Uh, okay. Yeah, with Monokuma. Like, he's gonna get in our way soon. Hmm. True, this is our best chance now that he's not making any obvious movements. Hey, so... So let's try the underground passage with these hammers. We'll get to the outside world. You're right. If we can escape, we'll find out the secret of the outside world for ourselves. I see. We do not know if that's a lie or the truth, though. I mean, whatever happened to the card key? Did it just disappear? Did Monokuma confiscate it again? Why can't Kokichi just give it to us and show us the secret ourselves? Himself, sorry. The secret of the outside world. The despair going to mention it. Was that a lie? Is it the truth? We have to get out. You're right. We have to try. All right! Yeah, that's all we've got. Well, the secret of the outside world might just be a lie anyway. We must do it. Either way, we should at least try. So we won't have any regrets. What should we do? What do you want to do, Maki? That punk. If that hammer is a trap, then I'll really kill that asshole. Come on, man. Can't kill him. Just punch him. Okay, okay. I know. I'm going to beat him to a bloody pulp. I see. If everyone else is going to do it, I understand. Yeah. Then I'll prepare myself for the underground passage again. Got it. Yeah, right on. I wonder, could one of us really be the traitor? 
one of us. I was going to say one of us six, but really it's one of these five. I don't want to believe any of these guys could be traitors. Especially Himiko, but then again, like, you know, it's always the ones that you like and you don't suspect. However, I'm still concerned that Monokuma has been so quiet. He hasn't shown himself at all since the morning announcement. Where is he? I suppose there's no point worrying about that. Not if I want to focus on moving forward. It's the only thing I can do. Keep moving forward. All right! Let's get going. We're going to escape from that underground passage for sure this time. Kaito gave a triumphant shout, and we all grabbed our electro hammers. Yes. Let's go. Mm. I'll be cheering for you. You're not coming? That's not it. Himiko, you need to come too. Maki? We left the gym in high spirits. One electro hammer left. None of the chainsaws or spears were taken? Alright! I need to go too. I should head to the underground passage. I took the final electro hammer and left the gym. Here we go. Oh boy, this is it. Uh, here we go. What is this? Is this some sort of track? I never really noticed it before. Suspicious. Suspicious. Alright, let's go. Suspicious. I'm so suspicious. Alright. The despair tunnel. Are we really gonna get out of here? I don't know. Like I said, I'm pumped up. Gotta go. Kaede. We're escaping through the tunnel. Just like we tried to do way back when. But now we've got weapons. Is this really gonna work? I don't know. There's nobody around. Uh, it is this way. Oh my gosh. Electro hammers primed and ready. Hopefully no one's dead already. Where the hell is Monokuma? Let's get inside. Kibo? Everyone else has gone downstairs, huh? I haven't been here since chapter one. What are you doing? Um... Kiba, what's wrong? You're not gonna head downstairs? Shuichi! I have a favor to ask of you. This hammer disables electronic machines, right? Could it be... Are you concerned that it will disable you too? I kinda am as well. Kibo, you better stay away. And listen to me this time! Not like with that hydraulic press! Well, of course! Why? Of course I'm curious. The outcome will settle once and for all how Mew perceived me. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea to test that. Remember the hydraulic press? And, uh, well, I don't think Mew could find a way to sort of, you know, adjust the electro hammer so it doesn't affect you somehow. Because you are technically a machine. Besides, it's supposed to use a lot of energy. We shouldn't waste it. I see. A waste, huh? Dude, this is no time for experimentation on what your body can handle. I see. It would be a waste. Yes, we shouldn't be wasteful. You're repeating waste a lot. But y you're right. Huh? So robots pout, pout too? Guess they do. Alright. Enough mucking around. Down the manhole we go. 